Black Panther is the movie that the world has been waiting for. Not only was it highly anticipated by Marvel and Disney fans everywhere, but because of its iconic and important black representation of kings and queens, it has become one of the biggest movies in history, and it's only been out for a couple of weeks. I have 12 fast facts about Black Panther coming right up. The Black Panther has protected the world for generations. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Azalea Hart. Have you seen Black Panther yet? Comment down below and let me know. But I also want to know why is it so important to you to have a black superhero? If you enjoy this episode, please subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. And that way you never miss when I upload a new episode. Let's get into it, starting with some big, really big numbers. Black Panther, only in its second week, has made over $700 million worldwide and is well on its way to making over a billion. In Canada and the US alone, it has made over $400 million faster than any other Marvel title. And the movie hasn't even opened in one of the largest markets yet. China. Alright, so we have to talk about the man behind the mask, Chadwick Boseman. He was the first and only person considered for the role of Chala. He was brought up in an early creative meeting and booked the role 24 hours later. A role fit for a king. So you may have noticed this, maybe not, but no one in the movie has straightened hair or extensions in Wakanda. Hmm, why is that? Lupita Nyong'o said that before the advent of the white men, black people on the continent were doing all sorts of things with their hair. The idea of extensions and all that is not new. But the shaming or rejecting of kinks and curls is new. Now that is what came with the white men. And so in story, Wakanda is a country that's never been colonized, so they embraced themselves. They have their own sense of what is beautiful. Denai said having to completely shave their heads acted as a bonding experience for her and the actress that make up the army. I, I've been doing this since like late November and it's been, at first I was like really freaked out. Like I went in the mirror and I'd be like, what? You know, like I couldn't believe who was, like I was like, who is that? Because like I said, not only did they not have their hair, not have extensions or wigs, but they shaved their heads completely, as you saw in the movie. Ryan Coogler, the 31-year-old director of the movie, made it his personal mission to create the perfect villain. And boy, did he succeed. I lived my entire life waiting for this moment. I trained, I lied, I killed. Ryan was inspired by the villain hero dynamic of Batman and the Joker. He wanted moments where the audience would actually believe the hero might not win, and in a twisted way, kind of like the villain too. I gotta speak to the ladies real quick. It was pretty hard to not like Michael B. Jordan in this movie, right? Ooh. Wakanda, as much as we want to believe otherwise, is a fictional country. So where was the movie shot? The movie was filmed in Atlanta, Georgia and Busan, South Korea. The aerial shots of Wakanda are from South Africa, Zambia, Uganda and even Argentina. Lesotho, a country in South Africa, became the inspiration for Wakanda after Ryan Coogler visited while prepping for the film. We all have our favorite lines from the movie. Maybe it was, hey auntie, or don't scare me like that colonizer. <laughs> well, when Winston Duke has his own favorite and it moved him to tears. While watching the film, the line that moved him to tears was, stand up, you are a king. And for me, it was this one. Bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from ships because they knew death was better than bondage. Lupita Nyong'o hasn't stopped being amazing since she entered Hollywood. She bought Black Panther tickets for 600 children in her hometown of Kasumu, Kenya. More fun facts about Lupita, she speaks several languages, Spanish, Swahili, Luo and English. Along with the rest of the world, I was obsessed with the costumes in this movie. Ruth E. Carter created over 1,000 costumes for the film. She drew inspiration for the costumes from Afrofuturism, Afropunk fashion, and traditional African tribal garments. I'm definitely jumping on the bandwagon and getting some things made for sure. Speaking of costume design, you may have noticed that pretty much the entire world has gone to see the movie in African prints or traditional African clothing. Now this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this happen where people are dressing up to actually go see a movie and it has been epic. I would too if I owned anything like it, so. So let's take a look at what the cast wore for the premiere. Angela Bassett wore a stunning yellow fringe romper. Our leading men came out in black suits, the traditional silk scarves, and I love this look by the way. If you waited until after the credits and you saw, you know, what was happening afterwards and you saw what King Chala was wearing, on point. Everyone came out dressed like the royalty that they are. What was your favorite look? 
Did you dress up to go see the movie? Michael B. Jordan kept a journal while preparing for his role. This is something that he does with most of his roles to help him get in the mindset of whatever character he's portraying. More fun facts about Michael B. Jordan, his dad's name is also Michael Jordan, but not the Michael Jordan that you're thinking of. As a Trinidadian Canadian woman, I, like many others, am so proud to see all of the Caribbean representation going on in this movie. From Winston Duke, who plays Mbaku, being a Trini, more specifically a Tobagonian. You're an inspiration to many Tobago youths. Dare to dream. Dare to execute that dream. To Letitia Wright, who plays the Princess Shuri, hailing from Guyana. But it makes me feel really, really proud that um, as a young Guyanese woman, you know, people are being inspired. Um, and just for them to also know that I rep Guyana wherever mm -hmm. I go. All right, guys, that's all I have on this episode for 12 Fast Facts about Black Panther. Did you learn anything new? Did you go see the movie? Comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe by clicking right here. You can check out some more episodes right on over there. You can follow me on social media at Azalea Zoe, and I'll see you next time.